How y'all doing? I'm Justin Waddle. I'm from Bitten, Arkansas. Today we're going to go over something very beautiful and life-giving. It's how to see the true powers of the Holy Spirit's voice and not just hear them. You see the words of the Bible light our path, but the numbers are how we diligently seek God's gorgeous voice. Each number has a specific name to it, and if you call it what God calls it, you'll see it more clearly. Today we're going to show you how the fives, G-R-A-C-E, means grace. And the fives go with fives, okay? But first you need F-A-I-T-H, faith, to get grace, G-R-A-C-E. And when you receive both of those, you receive peace, P E. A-C-E, which is the peace that passes all understanding. <laughs> that's exactly what you're seeing. Every, every single time you see that word five in the Bible, that's what it's pertaining to, grace. David had five stones when he went up against Goliath. You see? Every single five in that Bible means grace. B-I-B-L-E, Bible. You got the Old Testament poetry, New Testament. See? Five words make up the B-I-B-L-E, Bible. Every time, every five-letter word, it doesn't matter which one it is. Jesus, J-E-S-U-S, grace, mercy, faith, peace. It doesn't matter. Let's go over some more. You would, would you like to? Jesus, three, cross. Three is five-letter words, and cross is five-letter words. Jesus, three, nails is five-letter words, and Jesus, three, names, above are both five-letter words. He rose on the third day is five words, and three, third is a five-letter word. So every time you see that number five, G-R-A-C-E, that's what it's pertaining to. You see how the fives went with fives? Every time, you, every time you refer to that, Jesus three cross, Jesus three nails, Jesus three names above, rose on the third day. See? It's five, 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 five. That's what you're seeing. The fives go with fives because Jesus in the three cross, three nails that hung him, three names above him, rose on the third day, went through life, death, and resurrection, preached the gospel for three years, and he got crucified at the age 33. God don't show partiality in man, Romans 2, 11, for there is no partiality with God, and he doesn't show partiality in the word. So if there's an abundance of threes in Jesus' life, then there's an abundance of fives, and the fives go with fives, and that's what we're going to show you here today, okay, guys? So for, for instance, every single five-letter word is grace. So the bread, the bread of life is grace. The great pearl is the Holy Spirit. That is what the grace is, the Holy Spirit. So you got one, two, and three. That's, that's three. The, th the third sequence is our grace. You got the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. The third one in sequence is our G-R-A-C-E. So that's why you see the threes and fives go together a lot. But today we're showing you how the fives go with fives. Okay? So every single time that you see... Like the bread, the great pearl, the heart, the glory, three five, the mercy, the light of the world is three five and three five. That's what you're seeing it for because the Holy Spirit is the third in command and G R A C E is what the Holy Spirit is, is our grace, you understand? So that's what you're seeing the sequence of every single time. Like David and Goliath, he beat the lion, the bear, and the Philistine, three things, and he had five stones to choose from, but he only needed one. So that's three sets of numbers. Threes and fives go together in sequence together. That's what you're seeing there in that situation. But today we're showing you how the fives go with fives because of the road sign that we're showing you, okay, guys? So bear witness to the end of the video because you're not learning this from Justin Waddle. You're growing with the Word of God today, guys. The Holy Spirit's showing you how to see the true powers of the Holy Spirit's voice through grace. See, the Alpha, the Omega, three, five, three, five. The living water is three words, and the third word is five letters, okay? Now, what is the Holy Spirit? It is the bride of God, okay? So our bride, B-R-I-D-E, is our woman, W-O-M-A-N, see? That's your woman, that's your bride, that's exactly what that is. That's why they're both five-letter words. You live in a house, I drive a truck, when you sit in a chair, a couch, when I speak words to you on a phone. When you look at the clock, you're receiving grace for that. Hey, when I tell you to go to the store for grace, you, I tell you to put your shirt, pants, and shoes on, which is all five-letter words apiece, and we'll receive the price at the store of what we're going to buy. You see how that works? The fives go with fives. Hey, when I, for my teeth, T-E-E-T-H, okay, T-E-E-T-H, right? I brush my teeth with my toothbrush, which is five letters apiece. <laughs> so that's three sets of five every time you brush your teeth. <laughs> Ain't God so powerful and almighty and all evident? Would you like to see how he looks at us all as one body? You see, because races, R-A-C-E-S, races are different races. Uh, you got black, white, and Asian. All three are five letters apiece, grace. The reason why Spanish is seven letters is because obviously that's completion of all the races. You see, everything has a purpose. Everything's predestined for a reason. Do you see how much great emphasis God put in just this one number, number five, to show you how everything that lines up to five, he looks at as grace? You see how that works? How much great depth did he put into your life? 
How much great depth did he put and mold into you? This is just a number. It's the voice of the Lord, of course. And the voice of the Lord uses different categories for different numbers. Today we're showing you how five means grace. Like he is risen, that's three and five go together in a season. So one, two, three, the third word is five letters. Or he is alive, the third word is five letters. When you sowed it in the field, that's three and five and five. See how that works? God never changes. When you sow the seed in the field, that's gr you're g obtaining grace for that. Whether it be a spiritual field or whether it be a real field. See how that works? God never changes, you see? Every five in this life means grace. Even our storm is our grace because we God cannot tempt man. See? Everything has a good and bad side to it. You understand? God makes it rain on the just and the unjust. And that's why you see that right here in Matthews. Matthews right here, 5, 5.45. It says... 544, Matthews 5, 44, bear witness to the Holy Spirit now. But I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you and do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for he makes his sun rise on the evil and the good, and sends his rain on the just and the unjust. This is the true powers of the Holy Spirit pouring upon his Spirit upon all flesh with the latter rain. You see, the words of the Bible light our path, but the numbers are how we diligently seek Him. This is the latter rain to produce the mature fruit that people that watch this video, so you can see the true powers of the Holy Spirit's evidence to show that he, Jesus Christ really died for us. See, once you see the truth and you know the truth, you, you know the truth. Jesus really got beat to death for you. It's not just a book. This is a beautiful testimony of Jesus Christ giving up His blood for us. You see, because His blood is the grace. The red blood or the red words. See, three, five. <laughs> That's why you're seeing three fives everywhere. You got the Old Testament, Poetry, New Testament, three sections of the Bible, though. You see, it's five letter words, five words. You see how it works? God never changes, you see. What he did back then for them people, he still does to this day. So you see how he makes it rain on the just and the unjust? Okay, turn to Proverbs 16, 4. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. Watch what it says here. Pay attention now. Bear witness to the Holy Spirit. You're growing with the Word of God, not just in Waddle. 16.4. Proverbs 16.4. The Lord has made all for Himself, yes, even the wicked for the day of doom. So the Lord uses us as righteousness to show other people how to get to His kingdom. He uses those people right, like the bad people, right? God has made all for Himself, yes, even the wicked for the day of doom. He pushes up against us with them people, but He can't tempt us. So what does He do? Well, James 1.13 tells you exactly what, what he can't do. Right here, James 1.13. Boom, James. 1.13. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot tempt by evil, uh, nor does he, tempt, uh, he himself tempt anyone. You see? So, Satan, or the devil, five letters apiece, God uses him to tempt us. So that's his grace to tempt us. <laughs> that's why the devil and Satan are five letters apiece. Okay, and the proof of that is right here in 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Boom. If you look up right here, the Holy Spirit flipped right to it for us. We didn't use the strings. But right here, Paul gets a vision in the paradise to go to the third heaven. Okay, so he don't become conceited. Verse 7, And least I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of revelation. A thorn in my flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan. To buffet me, least I be exalted above measure. Okay, so what you're seeing right there is God used the enemy to plant a thorn in his side so he wouldn't be conceited, so he would still have to continue to call upon the name of Jesus Christ because he saw so much revelation that he would have become conceited had he not had a thorn. You see, God got rid of all my chemical dependencies for me. I'm delivered of every chemical dependency you can think of, known to man. But I have to fight off my anger every single day. I have to call upon the name of the Lord every single day. That's my thorn. It's my anger. I have to control that through the Spirit of God, through the Word of God only can I control that. I promise you I've shot everything else. I promise you. This is the true powers of the Holy Spirit teaching you this, not me. Because right here, it says right here that he had a thorn placed in his side, a messenger. What's a messenger? Somebody you sinned. Somebody you sinned. The devil cannot tempt us. The devil cannot touch us unless God permits it. 
Psalms 105, 15 saying, touch not my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. So every five in this Bible means grace. It doesn't matter what we think, feel, say, or do. If you Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, you'll receive this a lot better. And you'll be able to love your problems. You'll be able to be content with your problems. If you go to John 6, 70, look what Jesus Christ did for us. In John 6, 70, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for getting us there quicker. All right, John 6, 70. Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you, the twelve, and one of you is the devil? See? We're made in the likeness image of him because we choose our problems every single day. He chose the devil for us. He was content with his problem. You know, the devil can't amplify nothing. If you don't give him nothing to amplify, he can't amplify it. He can't make a problem in a pin cushion if you don't give him the pin cushion to make it. See that works? That's what that looks like in Scripture. Jesus was content with his problem. He's just testing you. If you look up John, I mean Luke, Luke 6.40... Luke 6, 40, thank you, Holy Spirit, for memory. It's right here in the name of Jesus. How you turn right to it for us? A disciple, Luke 6, 40, a disciple is not above his teacher, but everyone who is perfectly trained will be like his teacher. You see what's going on here? God's just using your problems to train you, perfectly train you. It's a personal training ground inside your mind. And once you can control your flesh through the Word of God only, then that's when that becomes the promised land. You see, because Proverbs 20, 30 tells you exactly what it is. Proverbs 20, 30 says, name of Jesus, get us there. Proverbs 20, 30 states, Proverbs 20, 30, blows that hurt, cleanse away evil, as do stripes in her depths of the heart. Booyah, hallelujah. <laughs> See how it's grace? Blows that hurt, cleanse away evil. Let's look what 1 Corinthians 10, 13 says about it. Blows that hurt, cleanse away evil. Watch 1 Corinthians 10, 13. Name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. Boom, there it is. We say name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit, and he turned right to it for us. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. No temptation has overtaken you except such as common to man, but God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Without the problem, you wouldn't be able to overcome it. You wouldn't be able to endure through it, you see? Everything has a purpose. Romans 8, 28. For we know that all things work to the good to those who love God that's called according to His purpose. That's what He's talking about. He pre-warns you that the world's going to hate you because He chose you. John 15, 19. If you were of the world, the world would love its own, but you are not of the world because I have chosen you out of the world so the world shall hate you. Hey, guess what? If, he, if the world hates you, that's because God chose you. I think it's time to get amplified around here. I want to see your gift amplified. I want to see your knowledge and your wisdom pour out of your belly like living water. I want you to tag me in something for once. In the name of Jesus, please. Because I know you got it in you. You know how? Because I know I got it in me. Thanks to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, shed his blood. Hey, did you know that Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever? Did you know what he did back then? It's safe to say he still does to this day. Watch this. Booyah! Hallelujah! Hey, watch. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Y'all ready? Boom! That's five and five go together. Hey, bumps ahead. <laughs> Praise God. I used to say that for another reason. <laughs> I don't say that no more in the name of Jesus. Praise God. <laughs> I don't shoot dope no more in that venom. That venomous snake ain't touching my veins. Only the blood of Christ runs through these veins. <laughs> Bumps ahead. That is so funny to me. <laughs> okay, guys. God will show you how far you've grown. I promise you. Now look up John 6. John 6. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is where that, that sign back there is because of these right here. Now look up John 6, verse 5. Starting at verse 5. There's 1, 5. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes, seeing a great multitude coming toward him. He said to Philip, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five words in between commas. They're red words, red words. Three and five go together. Where? Three words, five letters. Shell, five letters. We buy is five letters and bread is five letters. So that's one, two, three, four sets of five letter words in a five word sentence. <laughs> the fives go with the fives just like bumps ahead do. That's where bumps ahead started from because everything stems back from the biblical days first. Remember that. Okay, and then we ain't done there. Verse 9 says, There is a lad here who have five barley loaves and two small fish, but where are they among so many? So that's five red words, boom, five, five word sentence. Okay, five barley. Watch this. No coincidence now. Verse 10. 
Then Jesus said, make the people sit down. So that's one, two, three, four, five red words again, which means grace. Now there was much grass in the place. So the man sat down and numbered about 5,000. That's a lot of fives in that one statement and that one scripture and that one chapter. That's a lot of fives because Jesus three cross, Jesus three nails, Jesus three names above rose on third, third day. I promise you, he, he did all that. And that's what got this going on like that, baby boy, baby girl. Let's jump on board. Because I promise you, every knee will bow. Every knee. This is what this is proving. This is proving it to be true. That every knee will bow. So y'all please subscribe at the bottom. Please like and share. Please comment. Please, please let us know which number you need to know. We'll take it to the Holy Spirit and, and ask Him and show, him, show you through Scripture. Of how to see it through Scripture. Because Scripture speaks to us. Scripture still comes alive to this day. These are just numbers. These are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. It's just numbers to people. But to us, it's the true powers of the Holy Spirit. It's different categories that the, He speaks to us directly. And it's beautiful. Y'all have a beautiful day. God bless you.